Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with you with another camera review and today I'm looking at the Sony a7 III. I have to say it was a very interesting test for me because I used the Sony a7R 3 just the previous week to that and um, I really loved the camera. I think it was like one of my favorite cameras I've used so far. I was very interested to see how it performs considering it's almost half a price. I think it's around $2,000 and then the a7R 3 is $3,500 um, and they are both uh, full frame uh, but the a7 III has a smaller sensor. Today I got to test out the camera with with my Canon. Uh, I just took a few photos here and there with the Canon. It wasn't like a major comparison. I just wanted to see how they look next to each other and if there's any differences. So I'm going to be talking about it and comparing it on the screen so you guys can see and kind of decide. Okay, so first thing, as I mentioned, um, you know, it's quite an affordable full frame camera. It's only around $2,000, which I feel like is a very good price point. Um, you know, when you're looking at Sony, you have to keep in mind that the lenses are quite expensive. So for me, as a Canon user for example if I was to switch to Sony I could either get myself an adapter for my lens which is less than ideal I tested it out in the studio it just doesn't work that well or you can just get the full um, you know proper Sony lenses but it's just it's they're very expensive I think 24 to 70 that I have currently in my kit um, the equivalent of Sony is probably around two and a half thousand um, in general um, I shot at this beautiful location it's called the Alchemist um, it's in Uluwatu which is like this beautiful area of Bali that is full of like really blue water and it's really gorgeous so I was comparing the Sony with my Canon I decided it would make sense to um, take some photos next to each other so I can kind of compare how it works with my DSLR. Um, I found that um, my focusing in Canon is a bit dodgy. It's okay, um, but I find the Sony images were way more sharper. Again, kind of like with the other Sonys that I tested, the dynamic range in Sony is a bit better. You can see yourself on the screen. Um, so in general, like the Sony a7 III is closer to the a7R III than it is to the Canon 5D Mark IV. And you know, um, obviously Canon, the Canon 5D Mark IV is not a mirrorless camera, but nonetheless, um, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of over having my images usually blurred because the focus kind of misses. So this was a very nice kind of uh, upgrade for the day. Another thing that's really killer is the focus points. Um, you know, with the a7 III and the a7R III, you have the IAF and it's absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot speak highly enough of it. You know, it's like it's like focusing system on drugs. It's, it's so on point, it follows the face really well. It really works with the face and with the model moving and so on. So it's really a dream to work with in that sense. Um, I didn't have any mishaps, any major mishaps in terms of focusing and so on. The camera was really good. It was very on point, very quick focusing. So um, I was definitely really impressed with that. One thing that I found that threw me off, which was a very random thing, um, if you're familiar with Sony, it has the little um, record button at the side. But for the a7 III, it's behind the viewfinder, which for some reason just I just found it very distracting and it's such a small little thing but it's like I was doing video as well and you'll see some of the video footage here um, and yeah it was just it was just very weird um, another thing that I noticed though was how silent the shutter was because it's basically it just it doesn't make any sound which for example if you're shooting weddings something like that is absolutely perfect because you won't distract anybody with any sounds um, you know it's going to be super quiet and it's just it's just very impressive. In general, um, as I said, the camera handles highlights and shadows very well. Um, it has a good dynamic range, I find. I feel like it was a very accessible camera to use. Um, it has a way smaller sensor than the um, Sony a7 R3. I think the R3, the sensor is around 42 megapixels and um, the Sony a7 III is 24, so it's basically slashed in a half. Uh, but saying that, you know, it obviously depends what kind of work you do. If you do billboard and commercial work and stuff that goes, you know, printed very big, then maybe consider something with a bigger, um, you know, 
megapixel rate you know or bigger bigger sensor for me personally because i mainly work online and because i mainly post my images online i really don't need that kind of resolution at the moment i just feel like it just you know slows down my drives and it just takes up space and at the moment i just feel like it's an overkill for me but again you know it's just something that you guys have to decide if you are happy with or not um the video was very good as with any sony you know I mean, I said it and I will say it again, Sony is killing the game when it comes to video. You know, the footage is always so much better than any other camera, you know, it's it's way more stable because I don't use any stabilizers or anything like that, I always go handheld and it's such a massive help to have the stabilization in the, in the camera. Um, because you know when I shoot any other camera or if I ever try to shoot with my Canon it's, it's just absolutely impossible I would literally have to put it somewhere on the tripod or you know just be dead still which is not possible when you're doing video um, so I really do appreciate that and I feel like Sony is really good in that sense only other thing that I can think of is the battery life um, I don't find it so impressive still it's much better than it was um, but there is still room to improve and I think you know there is there is ways of you know trying to fix it you know as I said when I shoot on my Canon I can usually get maybe two three shoots out of it here. It was maybe like a shoot and a half With the other cameras. I was really happy with how I was able to color grade the images I feel like the colors in Sony are really really good and they're very close to Canon Which I appreciate because I love my Canon colors. Um, I do love color grading Canon footage um, And yeah in general, it was just like a very pleasant experience So if you guys are looking for something that is a bit more affordable and that's you know a bit more maybe within your price point and maybe look at the a7 III instead of the a7 R3 um, you know if I could personally choose I could I would still probably go for the a7 R3 um, just because I find it's a very nice camera and I just I just liked it it's just you know it's just like with everything else I do it's just certain things I like and certain things I like more and certain things I like less and the a7r3 was just one of those cameras that I really really enjoyed using and I really liked it and I feel like it was just this full package okay guys that's it for today I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you found it helpful in making your decision on buying your camera let me know if you want to see any more comparisons if you want to maybe see different comparisons for different cameras like a shootout um, and yeah, let me know what you think. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.